Wait. Why? What's wrong? We're actually going to do this. Well, we will, unless your dad figures out that there's something up. No, he won't. Well, he came close, Michelle. Too close. You knew when I took the keys to the cabin. Yeah, talk about having your hand in the till, huh? It's okay. He bought my story about going sledding. Well, he's as much of a sucker for you as I am. I would believe anything that comes out of this sweet little mouth of yours. I only tell you the truth, Jesse. You know, these last nights before we get married are driving me nuts. I want you so bad. The only thing that keeps me sane is telling myself that we're going to be waking up next to each other for the rest of our lives. I can't wait to be with you either. I took all my savings out of the bank. I still hate that you had to do that. Well, we need something to start off with, right? And it'll help. Yeah, along with my bikes. I got my two best bikes tuned an inch away from perfection. I got a buyer for the first one, too. I'm waiting around to see if the one we rode up on you get a bite on it. I wish you didn't have to sell them. Yeah, well, it did on you draining your savings. But you know what? Once we get our things together, we will have nothing to worry about. It's all gonna happen just the way we planned it. Yeah, well, we could do without the close calls, though, huh? Mm. I mean, I broke into a sweat when I saw your dad and he came into the kitchen with you having those keys in your hand. <laughs> No more close calls. Dahlia's gonna make sure of it. Come on. Wait, Michelle. Hold up a sec. What? Hold on. I've been wanting to give this to you. I was gonna wait till later, but I guess now is the right time. This was my mother's. Jesse. It fits perfectly. Now we're officially engaged. He's the attorney from hell, Ross. He's like Al Pacino in that movie, but without the charm. You're overreacting, Black. In fact, I think we both are. You know what? I would love to wipe that smug expression off his face. Why don't you just come here and sit down? Oh, wait. Maybe that's him now. Mr. Ben, I can wipe his smug smile off his smug. Hi. Oh, no, it's not the great Mr. Warren. It's the next worst thing. Abby, come on in. Okay. You know what, Rick? Oh, if I had go. it my way, I wouldn't let you into this house. Blake, I need to talk to him. Thank you. Why would you even want Ben Warren to represent Abby? How could you, Rick? Blake, I don't know please, what you're thinking please. here. I mean, Ben isn't interested in Abby. He's not Blake, after her best thinking. interests. He wants headlines. He's Blake. not interested in justice. Hey, I, you made your point. Ross gave up his career to help you. If that doesn't show dedication, I don't know what. Wait a minute. I didn't leave the DA's office just because of Abby. I thought it was the right thing to do. I made a decision, and you're going to have to, too, Abby. Well, that's why I'm here. I have made a decision, and I would like you to be my attorney. So please say yes, Russ. Yes. Okay. I will represent you, and you won't be sorry. I take it you don't agree? It's Abby's decision. I just hope she's making the right one. Please, there, Harley. Harley. Here. Oh. You. you took such a long time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I should know better than to shop at those stores at this time of the yes. day. <laughs> How's my coop? Oh, oh he's good. perfect as oh, usual. What do you yeah. think? He's up there busy playing with his guests. Oh, trucks, trucks. Of course. <laughs> the diesel truck that, that Philip gave him, his yeah. favorite. Oh, that's very sweet of Philip to yes. give him that. Well, Philip is very sweet. And yeah. You know, it's funny. Even though he was raised in that fancy Spalding house, I think deep down, he's actually a trucker. Oh, so under that white collar, there is blue? Well, it's royal blue. Oh. <laughs> oh, before I forget, you got uh, three phone calls. Mm. Nola calls at 8 o'clock. Then at 8.30, uh, oh, there was Nola. And then at 9 o'clock, let me remember, I think it was Nola. Three times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she's nothing if she isn't persistent. Hmm? She was less of a pain when she was the anonymous stalker. Oh, no, she was a pain during that. It's just now she's turned into this dull ache that refuses to go away. What exactly is her deal? Is she still interested in Dad? 
It's not her interest in him that worries me. You have nothing to worry about. You are the love of his life. A life he doesn't remember. Yeah. Well, let me hang up your gold ring. Oh, I can do this. No, no, no. You are a guest right. in this house and you're pregnant. Oh, oh, drop this. I'm oh, sorry. Take that. What is it? Is that the amnia? Well, is that the amnio? You got the results? Jenna, you went to the doctor and you didn't tell me? Why didn't you tell me? Is it a boy or a girl? I hope Did Dad I go with you? enough paper towel. There's one thing in Dad this didn't house go with you to the hospital, did we he? We always run out of paper towel. Matter of fact, Dad never goes with you to the hospital, does he? I don't know he? how we do it, but I could buy a whole truckload. Dad never goes to the hospital with you, I should check on Jenna. Poop. I really ought to check Poop is fine. He's happy as a clam, which is more than I can say for you. What's wrong? Something is off with this pregnancy. There's nothing off with this pregnancy. There is. Molly. My hunch tells me something you don't want my father to know. Oh, there you go. Jumping to rotten conclusions as usual, Harley. Really, Emma? Yes, yes. You always assume the worst. Have you ever thought that perhaps I don't want to bother him right now? Bother him? He has rather a lot on his mind at the moment. Like what? Jenna? This baby the two of you are having, that's the only thing the man is clear about. He's clinging to it. Don't! There's something strange going on here. From the first time you told me you were having a baby, I knew something was up. When I told you Buzz was missing, I was exhausted. Why don't you want to share this amnio with my father? Why are you asking me all these questions? Why are you getting defensive with I me right I am not now? getting defensive. I just don't like being given the third and degree. And you know what? There's something else going on with this whole pregnancy. Something I haven't said before. Would you just stop this cop action? Look, you, your cop days are long gone. Right? Jenna, listen to me. You're not nesting. You're not doing that nesting thing, that mother-to-be thing that pregnant women do. Oh, great, Detective Cooper. When do you suppose I ought to do this nesting? Hmm? I've got a young son to raise. I have a business to try and run without much help from you. And then there's this restaurant woman who is going after my man. So while I'm fending her off and trying to live my life some sort of resemblance, when am I going to do this? There's nothing wrong with this baby, is there? No, there's nothing wrong with Okay, the so there's nothing wrong with the baby. Beyond that, I'm going to find out what this is because I know there's something wrong in your oh, hiding. Would you get off me. this? It's and none I think of your that my business. father, I'm going to give him this M. You'll be no, I don't want to, no. to give it to him. Give me one good reason. Because he isn't the father of this child. Abby, leaving the DA's office has freed me up totally. I can devote all my time to you. I'm holding you that, Ross. Rick, you don't have to hold me to anything. I'm giving you my word. Abby, you don't have to worry about a thing because you've got the best attorney in the state representing you. And I can't wait to spread the news. Wait a minute. Who are you going to tell? Everybody. Blake, not Ben. Of course not. I mean it. You know what? I don't want to go near the jerk, okay? I'll see you later. All right. So now, Abby, do you have any questions? Well, I just want you to promise me something. I don't want you to pat me on the head or keep me in the dark at all. You got it. And I want to be informed on everything that you're doing. You have my word. Okay. And I also really don't want you to make any promises that everything's going to magically turn out all right. No, Abby, I, I wouldn't do all that. all the facts. You're going to get the facts. I want the defense broken down step by step. How are you going to screen potential jurors? Your overall strategy with the judge. I mean, that was missing this time. What was missing? Ross, there was clear evidence that you chose to overlook or just didn't see. Rick! Abby, that's how we got blindsided in Roy's trial, and that cannot Enough. happen this Stop. time. Stop! Uh, are you the one on trial here, or is it me? We cannot afford to make any more mistakes this time. We have to be aggressive. Sometimes I wonder if you are the one who cannot hear. So, what do you think? I think it's a hot set of wheels. I, uh... Maybe just what I need.